All right, I have two unboxings for you today. This one is an Artist Direct, and this one is from a store that I've been waiting six months to get back, and I'm gonna open both of these in a dual mini unboxing. Here we go. Okay, as I mentioned, uh, I have two shipments that I want to unbox here today. Um, and they're going to be uh, very quick and, and easy here. But uh, a couple of places that I've ordered from before that I'm trying to add more inventory and uh, more uh, shopping experiences to my overall ratings. Uh, the first is uh, directly from Ji Young Lee. Uh, so this is his artist direct store. I got a couple of books from here. And the other is from Mutant Beaver Comics. And I believe this one should be a slab. Uh, so I want to go ahead and open both of these and take a look at the books. Uh, so we'll start with the Ji Young Lee and see what's inside and take a look at the, um, the condition of the books uh, that we got from him and his store. All right, so before we get into the unboxing, wanted to give you uh, a look and see uh, at my uh, current ledger stats for ordering comics online. Uh, right now, uh, Ji Young Lee sits in the second spot with uh, essentially one order. Um, you know, it's hard. J. Scott Campbell, I ordered one slab directly from them, and, and they were a 9.8. So they're getting the number one slot until I order more. And I've actually been thinking about maybe ordering the J. Scott Campbell mystery box to just kind of get a few books, uh, grade them, see what uh, see what condition they come in, and also just kind of to uh, pad their stats, if you will, to, to figure out uh, where they more realistically stand here in the uh, online comic book store uh, ledger standings, whatever you want to call it, rating system. But here's Ji Hyung Lee. I had uh, placed a two book order uh, back in the day, and it was two books, and both of them uh, were screened by me as a 9.8. Um, so I've got two more books here to open, so we're going to add uh, uh, two more to the stats for them. And then for Mutant Beaver, again, I believe that it's a slab that I ordered. Uh, I had ordered 12 books in the past from them, and five of those graded out as a 9.8, with an average grade uh, coming from NBC as 9.6. So uh, really high-quality books from them as well. And again, as I order books from stores and those stores sort of rise to the top, uh, these are the stores that I would typically buy from uh, and less from the other stores that I've purchased in the past pa uh, where their stats aren't as good. Uh, so again, this is why I keep track of every detail because I want to see what stores are delivering uh, the higher quality books and which stores give me the best shot at a 9.8. All right, let's finally get the orders unboxed and take a look at the books I got. All right, so the first one we're gonna open is the the two book order from G. Young Lee. So let's get this out of this uh, legal uh, priority mail envelope that they sent their books in. So I'll go ahead and open this. Okay, so this is a Gemini mailer. I love it. There's no tape. That's awesome. So it's just the, uh, just oh, never mind. Here we've got a makeshift uh, cardboard, a uh, bunch of eBay tape stuff, um, with another envelope inside. This is going to be fun. So here's the next part. Again, try not to dig the scissors into the sides because I feel like that's going to damage the book. So. I'll open it from this side instead. I just feel like it, you know, as you get kind of forceful with the scissors or the handling and you start to use your hands and pull these things apart, that you're gonna end up hurting the books. Uh, and this always makes me nervous because there's no real good way to get in there because the comics are right there. So you just kind of have to peel the tape is probably your best bet. You kind of work your way through to get this thing open. All right, so that should be enough. Just fold it open. Nope, I'm gonna have to get this side too. Maybe this way. Ugh, please, please stop with the tape. Just unnecessary. Well, the book kind of, the book sort of fell down a little bit, so I can get the scissors in there now. 
should be good to go now. All right, so that's open. Now we've got another envelope here sticking for more tape. This is just insane. You don't need to do this. Oh, oh and then this is now sealed. The books aren't going anywhere. <laughs> this is so frustrating. Oh, let me get some of this trash out of the way. Save a tree. Okay. And again, by pushing down and pulling this way, I, I'm afraid of mashing the book. So I really hope that on the inside, these books are well protected, but you never know until you open it. Even this, I'm sort of, just as I did that and I pulled it open, I had my hand here and I went er, and, and grabbed the book and it almost felt like it bended, uh, bended towards me. Please, if anyone is watching uh, from jiyounglee.com, stop packing the books this way. Uh, just unnecessary. It's just overdone. Okay, I think I'm in. Let's see what's in the bag. Yeah, and they feel like it's just two books with backing boards. Now, what are these books? What did I order? Uh, I ordered House of Slaughter, number one, the Ji Young Lee variant. And I got the Trade and the Virgin copy in a combo. Um, so these books look really cool. I'm a big fan of Ji Young Lee. Uh, House of Slaughter came and went. Uh, it was delayed. And then it made um, this variant also become delayed. And I'm going to open this up and see what this one got. I don't want to damage that. And let's take a look and see how this book turned out. Now, what's nice is this is not a glossy cover. I really, really prefer the softer matte uh, covers like this. A uh, little bit of corner wear up there, but not too bad. Uh, no spine ticks that I can see there. That looks really... Uh, that's kind of what I say is acceptable corner spine splitting there it's it's really okay but it looks good cover is scratch free and we'll take a look at the back cover wrap kind of comes around but that's okay um it looks great uh, no no impact damage so i do a lot of complaining about packaging and tape and all of that um but in the end the books are nice and minty. So this is a 9.8. And uh, I'll replace their bag and board with one of my own just because I prefer that they all, they're all consistent. All right, so I'll very carefully lift that book up, move it aside, drop the 9.8 on the back of the board, like so. Okay. it up one last time very very carefully and let gravity just kind of drop it in and there we go so this is a uh, gorgeous G Young Lee and when I bought this what was interesting is um, there was no cover uh, it was on the website it was just said coming soon so uh, a little bit of a gamble there sight unseen but if you remember looking at my again very small sample size two for two on orders from G Young Lee uh, I figured, you know what, the other two variants that I ordered directly from him not too long ago came in minty condition, uh, plus just a huge fan of the art um, and of him as an artist, and figured it was worth the gamble. And from the first looks of it, it definitely feels like it paid off. Um, so right in there, a little bit, again, trying to get it in focus. A little bit right in there. It's not much. It's definitely acceptable. Basically the same condition as the other one. Spine looks really, really clean. No no scratches on the surface. This thing right here in her jacket, that's part of the art. Uh, just a good looking book all around. Corners nice and crispy. This appears to be another 9.8. Down there, there's no bending or folding on that corner. Same for the back. Corner nice and sharp. Sharp corner there, no bending of the pages. So really, really pleased there. Um, and this one, because it's the Virgin, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in um, in a fullback. Um, I pay the money, 
I get the 9.8. It's a rare variant. Well, not rare, but rare to me anyway. Um, expensive, I would say. The, the cost of it kind of makes it rare in a way. Uh, spending more to get the, the, um, the Virgin Edition. I'll very carefully pick this up. Drop it in the in the hard back there, and then beautiful, gorgeous. I love using the Silver Age hardbacks. Um, it's a seven by ten and a half uh, fullback, and uh, acid free, of course. Um, and it's just it's just gorgeous. Love it. Love how that turned out. So really, really pleased here. So these both went in as a nine eight. So that's four for four on books from GYoungLee.com. All four were new releases, and uh, very, very happy to have those. I uh, have not read House of Slaughter number one yet. Uh, a lot of buzz around that. Um, some great variants. A lot of just uh, interesting noise around the book, and really happy to uh, really happy to add um, a couple of those. I did get some cover A's and some other variants for House of Slaughter number one. Um, but uh, those in particular, I wanted to make sure I, I got a couple of the G. Young Lee covers. Now, uh, going to gyounglee.com and finding some of the books, um, you can find a lot of books there, a lot of back issues that he's done. Um, ordering from artists directly is, uh, is a great way to find back issues uh, because they kind of linger on those stores. Um, not a lot of people, once sort of the hype kind of falls off, if maybe they're purchased from more of your typical online retailers, um, those uh, artist direct places are a great way to find books. All right, so this ginormous box is from UPS, and this is from Mutant Beaver Comics. Uh, I've ordered from them in the past and gotten some good books, and uh, through some discount codes and everything, um, what I ended up doing is getting this slab on pre-order, and I ordered this in May of 2021, and you'll recognize the book as soon as I get it. Um, and it was the first time I had pre-ordered a slab from them, uh, just to see how long it would take. So six months um, is basically what you're talking about. And, and again, this book, I think, came out around the time that I ordered it, but it was not yet for sale. You couldn't even buy it raw. So it was a pre-order of a book, plus then pre-ordering it as a 9-8. So I imagine they had to pre-order it uh, screen the books and send those in. So it was a whole process, but when I, I'm talking over the unboxing here, when I saw the book and I saw the cover, I had to have the book and figured it was something that I was going to get uh, slabbed in a 9.8 anyway, and I just had a hunch that the book was going to be hot uh, and highly sought after and figured, you know what, let me go ahead and spend the extra money. And again, I got free shipping. I got, I think it was a 10% off discount coupon. Still paid a lot for it, but it's going right up on the wall. No brainer. Uh, that's bubble wrap, not me. Look at how well this is packaged. UPS bubble mailers padding the sides. Uh, really appreciate that. Because the thing with slabs is, um, you know, you're getting the book in the 9.8 grade, right? But the slab you want, uh, you don't want scratches and scuff marks and all, everything all over the actual plastic itself. So very well done by Mutant Be Beaver Comics. Uh, got this bubble wrap all around. Very well done. And last but not least, one final bubble wrap or bubble mailer, I should say, from UPS. And let's see what this is. I am super stoked, super, super excited uh, to get this book. Um, I guess this is a CGC unboxing, CGC unbagging, uh, except this one I do know what it is. I'm just uh, not announcing it quite yet because I want to show it to you here as I get it out of the bag. Or try to. Let me get my scissors. Okay. Here we go. There it is. Wonder Woman Black and Gold number one. And this is the the minimal trade edition. So I've I have this book raw. 
with the trade. And uh, I, it, it's probably my pick for cover of the year for 2021. I have a few others. The Black Cat Sway, number nine. That's another one of my favorites. Uh, my goodness. Um, this one's just amazing. It, 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 for some reason, to me, this book reminds me of the Gail Godot current Wonder Woman mixed with the, uh, I don't want to say old <laughs> Wonder Woman, but uh, the Linda Carter Wonder Woman iteration kind of mixed in with the new, I, it's hard, hard to describe, but it's, it is a gorgeous Warren Lau cover uh, going right up on the wall. It's, it's listed on the label as the Black Flag Comics Edition. Um, yeah, just amazing. 9.8 white pages. Just tremendous. Uh, really, really love it. And I think what I was going to say is the um, I wanted to have the minimal trade dress. So if you're thinking about buying a variant that has the virgin cover or the minimal, um, you're looking somewhere between a $25 to $40 purchase uh, for those sorts of variants from a store, from like a store exclusive. Uh, and this was just one, I didn't want to mess around and gamble that I would order it and it would come back a 9.4. Um, I wanted it slabbed. Um, same thing with the Black Cat. I've spent probably more money on the three copies of the Black Cat 9 than I would have spent on a slab like this. So um, this is just a, an option for you. Again, it feels like it's costing you more up front, but uh, this book picked up a lot of heat. I think it's cooled off a little, but this is going up on the wall. It's a no-brainer for me. I had to have it. Um, one last thing. It looks like... Uh, they threw in a bonus book, which is cool. Um, I've ordered from them a couple other times, and they've actually sent the same book uh, as this bonus. This is the In Hyuk Lee, uh, Gwenum vs. Carnage. Um, it has a super, super nasty tear right there on the cover. Like, that's probably a one-inch tear. So it this is basically a reader copy. But still, um, nice of them to send that in. Uh, so thank you, Mutant Beaver Comics, for the bonus book. That's cool. But uh, that's it uh, for this unboxing. Uh, really, again, just I had to have that, that Wonder Woman black and gold number one. Uh, the Ji Hyung Lee covers uh, of House of Slaughter with Erica Slaughter on the front. Uh, awesome uh, cover buys and additions to my collection. Uh, so check out Mutant Beaver Comics. Uh, they're, uh, they're located in Canada, so if you're ordering from the U.S., um, please know that, that shipping might take a little bit longer, but uh, they've been really solid for me, as has gyounglee.com. So check out those uh, alternate sources or uh, direct stores for your uh, comic book purchasing needs. Thanks for watching, happy collecting, and see you next time.